We begin today at Victor's restaurant, The Chill Grill. He's having his nightly meeting and he announces that the world famous band Boys in Motion will be eating there today. Raven yelps in standum. Their people called and they asked for a quiet dinner away from autographs, pictures, and screaming fans. Raven is all of that. Boys in Motion walk in. It's Columbus Short, the Blue Time Force Ranger, and friends. Raven is about to have a panic attack. Victor thanks Raven for keeping it a secret and she has no idea what he's talking about every teenage girl in town runs in like the walking dead and mobs the boys so they get in motion raven hides them in this supply closet but it's only a matter of time before these girls break down the doors and devour the boys raven comes home and asks tanya if columbus short is here and she says that's the same name as the dude from stomp the yard right then they walk in and tanya stands the hell out the boys are actually grown as men so it's cool they're so glad Raven saved them and wonder who leaked the info. Raven says whoever did it probably just had a lapse in judgment, but Corey says that she probably had a big mouth. The men in motion start singing and they really do sound about as good as me. Fame can be a pain. That's to say they're grown ass men with deep voices trying to hit boy band notes. True comedy. The adults in action don't like how everyone just uses them. The Blue Ranger said that he used a paper towel the other day and someone sold it on eBay for fat cheddar stacks. Corey has a plan. Corey starts by stealing Columbus Short's rib bone, which is creepy as hell. They haven't had good home cooking since writing bye 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 home cooking which okay the gents in Goshen can't go to their hotel because Raven's blabbermouth so she offers for them to stay at their house and be normal for a little while. The parents let these dudes that are old enough to rent cars stay at their house. How many guest rooms do they have? How big is this house in San Francisco? As they say, irregardless, if Raven ever needs anything, the boys with the Z have her back. It's the next day at school and Raven is swarmed with the boys bastion or whatever their fan base is called. Raven employs the most important lesson of them all. What happens between me and the boys stays between me and the boys. Real G's move in silence like the E in Raven. These generically diverse bullies come up and say, Raven doesn't even know the boys. They also declare that they run with Bianca now. She's so bad, she got kicked out of military school. I think Bianca must have put everyone onto Pyru because they're flamed up. Bianca stalls Raven out and tells her that she needs to admit that she's lying. Raven tells them that the boys have her back. Bianca tells her that the boys better perform at the Bonser tonight. Raven says, man, that's done. Bianca will believe it when she sees it. Loka makes sure to ask for an autograph on the low. At that moment, Raven has a vision. Everyone Everyone at the school is chanting, we hate Raven. Maybe they read Edgar Allan Poe's Wikipedia page. Back at the Baxter residence, the boys are filthy individuals. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Corey snatches up a bunch of the garbage dust to sell on the internet. He even swipes a sock off someone's foot, which, ugh. He runs upstairs and his nerd friend is on eBay making more Gouda than South Holland. But the real money is in a lock of their hair. Corey is ready to do some morally ridiculous plans. Tanya is complaining about how nasty the man children in motion are. Raven comes in upset because she got called out in school and Victor tells her that that's what she gets for talking so much. She says, it's cool, the boys have my back. Turns out the boys don't have her back. Yesterday, it would have been like their smash hit, yes in a heartbeat. The boys have decided to get out of showbiz all because Raven said they need to take a step back from their crazy life and take a break, maybe try to be normal. Raven doesn't support the fact that this is the happiest they've ever been. They don't really care, they just send back their breakfast so the maid can fix it because the food is touching. It's time for the concert and Bianca and the Barrettes decide to perform this song all about Bianca, get off her jock. After their song, they announce that Raven let everyone down and she couldn't get a cold at the South Pole. They kick everyone the hell out. Right then, Raven walks in and tells everyone to sit their asses down. In a couple of minutes, everyone is gonna see a show they're never going to forget. Corey is in the house and he lures JJ into his room. He introduces him to this child star and since JJ has the mind of a child himself, he lets them cut one single lock of his hair. He loves the haircut, doesn't even look like he got one. 
JJ goes downstairs to show Tanya and she says it looks the same. That's the genius. She needs to open her pineal gland clearly. Her third eye does see this disheveled living room and she snaps on these baby boys. Not only for being musty, but also for being disloyal. Also, also, because Columbus Shore got a hat and a do-rag on at the same time in the house. At the school concert, it's turning into a full-on riot. They're going Walking Dead mode again. At that moment, the beat drops. Boys, we are the boys in motion. We give you our devotion. Boys, we are the boys in motion. We give you our devotion. Something is wrong. Probably the fact that all the boys were like six feet tall and all these dancers are five, six. That or the fact that Orlando Brown has a rat tail goatee like he's gonna kidnap Sonny. Bianca blows the smoke away and exposes the fraud. Raven says, it's all good. Do really know the boys? Chelsea exposes that she also made them quit showbiz. Really not the time. She tries to apologize, but the crowd are going from motion to murder quick. Luckily, the boys come out and save Raven from being quartered. Boys, the boys get the their boys ass in motion. In motion. JJ even hits a backflip. Boys, Raven and her friends brought on the stage motion. to dance with her. JJ does a move that should get you escorted out of a high school. Good thing every character in the show besides Corey is 30 years old. Speaking of Corey, he's making so much money that he needs a money counter to count it all. His parents come in and they ask him where the hell he get all this from. He tells them that he's been selling a bunch of trash on the internet and his parents are mad that they didn't think of it first. They run downstairs to rummage through the garbage for Gargonzola. 